coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Sunday evening, a rainy way to finish up the weekend, and here's some of those rainfall totals from area airports. Effingham leading the pack with just shy of four inches of rain there. Over an inch and a quarter at Lawrenceville, just over an inch in Greencastle. Robinson was just shy of an inch at the airport. And here in Terre Haute, the airport measured 85 hundredths, but here at the TV station, we picked up an inch of rain downtown. So a little heavier rain evidently fell over the city. Looking at Doppler radar estimates, anywhere that's shaded in the blue, you can see the legend up at the top, but it's kind of hard to read with the numbers. Anywhere in blue saw less than an inch of rain, according to radar. This green area I saw around an inch to two inches, but down here, this is where the heaviest rain we saw over the weekend in the portions of Clay, Jasper, and Effingham counties in Illinois. Doppler radar estimated as much as four to five inches of rain fell there. That's why I had flash flood warnings in that area this morning. But looking at the storm tracker now, all the rains come to an end. Can't rely on isolated showers we go through the night, but for the most part, the widespread accumulating precipitation is done for as we head through the rest of the night. We can zoom out and you can see this area of low pressure that's bringing all these showers all across the Ohio Valley. Luckily, we've dodged the severe weather. It's down here to the south, but you can see there's some spin up showers just to the north of us. So as this system continues to push to the east, we're going to see those wraparound showers potentially affect us through the night. So that's why I've kept in that isolated chance of rain tonight and even into the daytime tomorrow. But as we look at future cast, you'll see the clouds trying to clear out. But as we get into the overnight hours, the winds become calm, temperatures close to the dew point, and with the rain that we've had, we could see some fog tomorrow morning. So be aware of that if you're headed out, especially in some low lying areas. But as we get into the afternoon, expecting a lot of sunshine as we get the work week started, going to be a little bit warmer of a day, but the humidity not too bad just yet. But again, as we get into the afternoon, can't wear out one of those showers to pop up in the heat of the day. But as we get into Monday night, the sky will stay mostly clear. We'll drop into the 60s one more time, but then it's going to be getting hot as we head into the rest of the week. Here we are at Tuesday at 8 o'clock in the morning, still expecting lots of sunshine, and that's going to take us into Tuesday evening and then into Tuesday night. We're going to get another dry stretch of weather, so thank goodness we got that beneficial rain when we did because Forecast going to be dry probably until next weekend. As you look at the fair forecast this week, several fairs going on. The Clay County Fair, as we mentioned earlier. Also the Sullivan County Fair, Martin County Fair for a couple more days. And the Knox County Fair is getting ready to start. Just that isolated chance of showers tomorrow. Then we'll be drying out, but getting hot. Temperatures in the 90s, but with the heat index factored in, we'll be feeling closer to 100 once again. Right now, it's still pretty comfortable outside. Temperatures have been in the 70s most of the day. It's 70 in Terre Haute and Robinson, 69 in Casey and in Rockville. Paris is down to 67, but holding on to 73 in Olney, Vincennes, Washington, and in Ligoti. So your forecast for tonight, just down to 67 degrees, mostly cloudy. Again, a few isolated showers, but most people are done seeing the rain. Patchy fog could be developing as we get closer to sunrise, especially. Then for tomorrow, partly sunny, 86 degrees for the high more sunshine once we get into the afternoon just an isolated shower possible but again most places going to stay dry tomorrow night mostly clear dropping down to 66 so just slightly cooler night enjoy the slightly cooler weather while it lasts because we're really heating up into the next week overnight lows in the 70s will cool off just a touch on thursday but then back in the 90s heading into next weekend before scattered storms are possible a week from now